here and now, here we are with Ahmad from Palestine. And we are now concerned about Gaza because the Zionist regime, with the support of the American uh, State Department even, you know, Blinken, who's a Zionist and heads the State Department, is a, you know, super Zionist. And uh, they want Israel to go in and uh, massacre as many as, as they would wish. Uh, this is the situation that we face now. Yesterday in Montreal, we had a demonstration of 5,000. Everywhere in the world, there are demonstrations. The big slogan at our demonstration was uh, uh, Intifada Worldwide Revolution. Great. Incredible. It is, you know, it is incredible. they don't support Gaza, you know, it should be overthrown, right? basically, you know, like they're no good. They're corrupt. They're fascist regimes, you know, and uh, the Canadian government, you know, party, the Liberal Party exposed itself as being, you know, complicit with even Nazis by hosting the Nazi in the House of Commons. Not just them, also the conservatives. They are, the yeah. they are on the same seat when it comes to their wars on Palestine and their wars on Russia. Mm. They are on the same boat. Mm. You cannot differentiate who is more fascist. Is it Polyev or is it uh, Trudeau? Mm. They are I, actually... I I haven't heard anything from the NDP. Do you know anything from the NDP? The NDP is wishy-washy as usual. I haven't heard anything, but oh. somebody told me they can issue uh, uh, a communique. Basically, you know, strongly condemn, you know, Hamas, blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. Mm. And, you know, we regret the loss of, innocent civilians lives in Gaza due to the war between Israel and Hamas so uh, it's 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 a it's a symmetrical war they think which is not of course it's asymmetrical mm. war it's not even a war it's a genocide against the Palestinian people mm. you know the, they, they are they are uh, bombing the hell of Gaza from uh, the air. Uh, operating uh, Gaza, over 50% of the Gaza Strip is becoming rubble. Mm. You're talking about, as we speak, over 8,000 Palestinians being murdered in their homes, on the roads, mm. uh, even around the hospitals, uh, mostly women and children and elderly, also innocent uh, men who has nothing to do with uh, what's going on. And over 20,000 uh, civilians uh, injured many will will uh, die because many of them in in a severe conditions will die due to the uh, lack of uh, necessities of life especially the medical uh, you know medical needs uh, many many hundreds of operations life saving operations has been done without anesthetic Mm. Uh, in 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 uh, uh, you know severely so shortage uh, hospitals uh, in Gaza. This is this is a catastrophe. This is a, 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 a human tragedy unfolding before our eyes. Mm -hmm. Live stream. Everybody can see the death of innocent civilians and the world doing nothing except talking about how bad we the situation is. Mm. Instead of intervening, when people, when 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 the Second World War started and the Nazis start killing and murdering people, the world intervened to serve the people. But when it comes to Palestine, we have the entire West, including Canada, mm. are taking the front seat next to Netanyahu in killing and murdering innocent people. That is disgusting. You know how disgusting it is for the, uh, the Zionist government to be using the memory of the Holocaust to justify another Holocaust. Exactly. That's what they're doing. It's it's a very disgusting, disconcerting. And what, what make you know, there's always silver lining of, of tragedies. You're having lots of Jews around the world waking up and saying, not in my name, don't commit Holocaust in our name. You are not bad, not worse or less than the Nazis. You are actual the twenty first century Nazis committing mm. crimes against humanity. Mm. 
Yeah, at the same time, the Zionist government, Netanyahu in particular, are trying to make out, you know, that Hamas is a Nazi terrorist organization, and they use the examples of they use examples of uh, of, uh, of burned babies and burned bodies. And I yes. saw a report yesterday that these burned babies and burned bodies that actually exist were burned by tank fire. Exactly, because, uh, you know, it's it's worth to notice, a note, you know, that the freedom fighters who broke through the ghetto wall or the big prison war, they had only small fire, I mean, like machine guns and, uh, you know, uh, small grenade, grenade launchers. Small grenades. And these grenades cannot and will not do such big damage to buildings, uh, burning uh, homes or burning bodies. I mean, a, a hand grenade could kill someone, but it will not burn a body. Yeah. Okay. Who burned the bodies? It's the Israelis themselves by hellfire. I mean, from uh, from helicopters, gunships, uh, from uh, tanks, which is can incinerate the entire buildings. So now. You know, the, 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 the truth is unfolding before our eyes. Even those bodies, they could claim to be burned by the Palestinians. It was their own work. It's on their own deed. Yeah. It's, they're shameless. They have no shame whatsoever to yeah. kill their own. And they say, oh, it's uh, ISIS, blah, 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 you know, decapitating the heads of people and burning. And how do you know they raped uh, a victim? Who told you? We never seen any video or a picture of a young woman say mm. that I was raped. Mm. No, nope. they just uh, they bring uh, their own uh, uh, military spokesman, okay, and they take uh, so-called journalists to a tour, and he's told them stories. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's yeah. The initial story. story. Uh, the initial story of uh, forty. Uh burned and beheaded babies that was uh, uh, you know made up by uh, an Israeli uh, uh, a squatter in the, in the West Bank from from I think the Yitzhar, yes. Yitzhar colony yes. Now, yes. Nablus, who told it to a soldier the soldier told it to a journalist and the journalist broadcasts you know this myth all over the world you know and, they yes. and you the know evidence. what despite the fact that this uh, garbage story was being refuted by the Israelis him, themselves who were captured hmm. by the fighters, hmm. refuted by no evidence when uh, Joe Biden withdrew his remarks. And all mis, most of the uh, mainstream journal, or I mean media, withdrew such remarks. Still, when you see uh, fascists like P hmm. Piers Morgan, Mm -hmm. or other Zionist uh, personalities still using the same thing. It's lie, 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 like gobbles. Lie, 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 lie yeah. so people will believe you. Yeah. It's never happened. Yeah. Uh, from what, the statistics of what I've uh, heard is that uh, the uh, number of political prisoners and civilian hostages uh, inside Gaza right now started off by being 229. Of those, 50 have been killed by these Zionist planes bombarding, you know, the Palestinian, you know, homes. Yes. 50, you know. It's, and, it's, and, and then the protesters want... outside the prime minister's home there, you know, they're you know asking for anything to be done to get their, you know, hostages back from Gaza. You know, how stupid can they be? They don't even pay attention, you know, to the obvious facts here, you know, that their hostages, their, their, their families... Are being bombed by their own government, <laughs> and they Absolutely. don't even say anything about it. You know, it's incredible. Absolutely, Absolutely. Uh, I I don't know if I said that before, but uh, I may remind you in 2014, when a Zionist force was uh, caught and encircled by the freedom fighters of Gaza, the Israeli uh, air force came and bombed the hell of everybody. Hmm. Including those, they were they lost. I don't know either six or fourteen. I can't remember the number of Israeli soldiers have been murdered by their own. Hmm. They have this doctrine called Hannibal uh, doctrine, which is supposed to be that if if one hour or few of our soldiers get caught as prisoners of war by the enemy, which is could be you now Hezbollah or 
you know, or the resistance in in Gaza, uh, murder them all. We mm-hmm. don't want any prisoners because we don't want to exchange them with their prisoners. So uh, uh, murdering murdering fifty prisoners, whether they know it or they don't know it, it's mm-hmm. part of their doctrine of murdering uh, prisoners. Mm-hmm. But uh, I believe the the most important assets of the PWs, uh, they are deep inside uh, tunnels, uh, especially those four generals and over a uh, hundred or 200 Israeli soldiers. Mm. They These are assets because they, the, the resistance will not uh, free them before uh, certain conditions met, which is like uh, justifiable uh, you know, uh, conditions like lifting the siege, uh, rebuilding Gaza, persecutions, uh, you know, uh, uh, free all the Palestinian uh, abductees uh, in in the Zionist uh, jails. Mm-hmm. So there's lots of uh, things they, uh, the Zionists have to uh, meet, and that's uh, a humiliation to them. Uh-huh. So, uh, but uh, the 50, I believe they are uh, dual citizens being murdered by uh, the heroic uh, Israeli Air Force. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, you know, since uh, October the 7th, uh, a thousand Palestinians have been uh, arrested in the West Bank. A thousand. Actually, the number is more than that. More than that now, probably. Yes. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. They're just going crazy. They just, oh. if like, if I am there now, if in the West Bank, I'll be arrested. Being a political activist, I am not a military guy i don't belong to any group however because of my let's say activism like this if i'm 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 talking to you from the west bank mm. okay i'll be arrested right away i'll be yeah. put in jail it's uh, it's like what they did in north america during the second world war for the Japanese uh, people, rounding right. them up and putting them in jail. Yeah. They cannot arrest 3.5 million Palestinians in the West Bank, but they will arrest people like me who will speak out against uh, their terror uh, campaign against mm-hmm. Gaza and, of course, on the West Bank as well. Yes. I saw a very interesting interview of a mother and a daughter, okay? the mother mm-hmm. was saying, you know, to, to Netanyahu, use any means necessary to get our, you know, family back. Yeah. You know? Then the daughter speaks and she says, I'm not political, you know, but I think that, you know, the way to get our hostages uh, back is by releasing all these 6,000 Palestinian prisoners. I'm not That's political, not even so enough. I don't care, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, no, 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 they are saying Generational that. difference, you know, like there is showing up finally. Even, even... Uh... The, uh, the war criminal Shaul Mofaz used to be the defense minister and uh, prior uh, uh, chief of staff. He, he said to uh, uh, to Netanyahu that uh, if it means to release all the Palestinian prisoners, let it be. Let's bring our people back. Yeah. So, uh, you yeah. know, they, well, uh, but they can... don't know that is not it's not just exchange of prisoners. There's lots of conditions attached to, to this uh, issue because this is going to be the last war between Gaza and, and, and uh, the Zionist. Mm-hmm. And I don't see it. It's ending to their favor. And the, the, the mm-hmm. only, if they want to consider, if they consider the murder and, and, and destruction of civilians as a, as a, um, as a victory, well, they know better than Hitler. Yeah. But that's not a victory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, my impression of this whole offensive by Hamas is this. Okay. Oh, by the way, I have to I have to make a correction. It's not Hamas, only Hamas. Hamas is spearhead the attack. Yeah. Okay. But that's uh, the attack was actually uh, most the the middle and north uh, frontier was take taking care by Hamas. But the other frontiers where it's given to the BFLP, DFLP, uh, Al-Quds Brigades, and Al-Jihad Al-Quds Platoons. So it was uh, uh, the Palestinian resistance altogether. Really? But they like to, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. It's not just Hamas. That's very advanced organization, yes. Oh yeah. So you're talking about, okay, yes, Hamas has about 40,000 soldiers, 
Mm-hmm. Okay, but the others they have another uh, same almost the same number of of Hamas. Uh-huh. So uh, uh, like ha- Hamas, yes, they, ha- they, they 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 spearhead the 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 attack on the uh, uh, Gaza uh, division of the Zionist army. But the rest, they took uh, care of other uh, important uh, f- uh, parts of the frontier. Mm. And they did the same work as Hamas. So mm. let's not talk about as Hamas. It's, it's, uh, let's call it as the, the, the resistance, Palestinian resistance that include everybody. And popular resistance as well. Popular resistance. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. It is, it is a resistance. And for your information, that just one hour after uh, the attack or uh, a coordinated attack on October 7th, many people joined with their, uh, you know, arms. Uh-huh. So it was a popular uprising. It's it's the ghetto uprising. Yes. It's the war to ghetto uprising of the, 21, the 21st century. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, in 1947, Gaza was twice as big as it is now, you know, That's right. according to the partition plan. That's right. It was supposed to be, you know, like uh, twice as wide and also another section in the north. That's and, right. And, and the section, you know, that uh, uh, was allocated by the UN partition plan included all the Palestinian villages that were around the Gaza there. That's right. When the Zionist uh, militias came in there with their genocidal campaign of ethnic cleansing in 1947, they pushed back, you know, uh, about the 10, 10 Palestinian villages were evacuated and they were, the refugees were pushed into the Gaza yes. of, the, of the frontiers that we now know. Uh-huh. The offense of the resistance, you know, October the 7th, was going to take back the towns that were taken in 1947. True, indeed. Yes. yes. So no, nope. you know the motivation is obvious there, you know, and to say you that know, this was a, a you know an invasion, you know, the Zionists claimed that it was an invasion, you know, of of you know the, their territory to kill you know as man, many Israelis as possible, is obviously not the motivation involved here. It's you know no, it's a no, of, no, uh, the recuperation no. of you know the lands and the towns that had originally been Palestinian in the first place. Yes, yes, I mean. Yes, there's, uh, the attack uh, was coordinated, but I think the, the main uh, trigger of this coordinated attack is breaking the big prison wall to tell the world this is enough is enough. We're not going to take it anymore. Mm-hmm. And they attack the prisoner guards. It's mm-hmm. like uh, Auschwitz people breaking through the, the barriers and killing uh, the Ukrainian and Polish uh, guards mm-hmm. who were guarding the Auschwitz. Mm-hmm. So no matter what Israel uh, spin this, it's the the ugly facts remain persists. Mm-hmm. 1948 was the beginning of such war. It's mm-hmm. not it did not start in October 7. That's right. On this note, I will not apologize nor condemn my people for such attack on their uh, oppressors. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was no, there was no uh, rape. There was no decapitating of babies. There was no burning of bodies. Uh, this was only attacking the the Gaza division of the Zionist army, who most of them ran away from mm-hmm. their positions. And who were left tried to fight back, and they were killed. Yes, mm. there's some maybe so there were some execution of the prisoners, but that's justified to them. I don't know if it's to me. I don't know. I was not there. Uh, what happened? But most of those people you saw them in pictures, young men. They're not the ones who were at the rave party. They were mostly our soldiers. They just woke up, tried to get their uh, weapons, and they were liquidated. As they liquidate our people in their homes on the West Bank yes. every day for the past fifty-six years. Yes. So and, this, and they're, this soldiers. they're soldiers. Yeah. They're soldiers, even civilians, yes. you know. Exactly. And they're the soldiers on the frontier of Gaza that were shooting civilians, demonstrating during the Great March of Return. Oh yes, yeah, over two hundred people. They they killed them. They murdered them. Yeah. So. 
I'm not going to sit here and say, I condemn Hamas. No, it's not. I'm not condemn anybody. Mm. This is ugly. And who started the whole thing is the Zionist occupation of Palestine in 1948, ongoing to 1967 and ongoing to 2007, mm. when the Zionists did, uh, decided to, cha to uh, change uh, uh, the, the name of Gaza Strip to the world's biggest open-air prison. Mm -hmm. No apologies here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The world has to stop, I mean, to intervene and stop the new 21st century Nazis of mm -hmm. running uh, huge Auschwitzes mm -hmm. in Gaza and the West Bank. It's yeah. enough, is enough. And they're supporting the Nazis in Ukraine as well. Right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. No doubt about it. There's no yeah. doubt about it. Mm. The, it it's known. I mean, the co cooperation between the Zionists and, and uh, the Nazis, it's, it, they are even they, they gloat about it. In 1933, they had an agreement with, uh, with, uh, with the Nazis to yeah. bring uh, all the rich, all the rich Jewish Germans to Palestine with their money mm. and just keep the poor. We don't need them now at this moment. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's a lot of people. They sacrificed people. 1 million German Jewish lives for 60,000 Zionists. Who had exactly the paper. Exactly with their money. Exactly with their money. So the Zionists are the last people on face of earth mm. to talk about how Nazis, how the Nazis were bad and they're anti, they're anti-Semitic, all that bullshit. Mm. They are the worst of the worst. They are mm. them and the Nazis are the same and equal footing yes. on in in the garbage bin of history. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, rave party is a very important sort of you know matter because everybody knows about this you know rave party that was attacked. You know, yeah. The yes. last moment the site of the rave party was moved right next to the military base, and so of course the paragliders were coming to the military base to attack the military base. Yes, and. The, who were these rave party goers? They're the soldiers. They're, uh, Israeli they're, soldiers. The, they're the age, you know, of because you know they have conscription. Everybody should know there's conscription in the Zionist state, you know, for both, you know, uh, young men and young women, you know, and that's who was at the party. I saw, as I, I mentioned to you before, you know, like I saw the one video, you know, of the woman soldier dancing with her military pants on and her black bra, you know. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And the pair of that. coming in in the background. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I mean, I mean, there were soldiers. You know, I, I, I understand what the people, the freedom fighters were doing. They're attacking Israeli soldiers, whether they're active soldiers or reserve soldiers, because in so called Israel, between brackets, Israel, the Zionist entity, you are a, a, a soldier reservist for the rest of your life until the age of 40, 45 or 50, mm. okay? Except for, with some exceptions, okay? For a woman who gets married, she has children, then she be, stop being a, a reservist. But she will do something called uh, the national duty, like uh, whatever like uh, we call it here, uh, neighborhood watch. So everybody is part of the military one way or another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they've all been educated, you know, and to be militarized, uh, Absolutely. militarized mentality. Absolutely. And, 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 you know, and they take them into the military right after high school. So they don't Absolutely. even know how to think yet, you know. They just get trained in the military and, and, and they get trained to obey, you know, basically. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, what's what hope is there, you know, for them to become independent thinkers afterwards, you know, the they're, pretty little. They're you know. actually... The, the in the Zionist uh, entity since the childhood they feed in them this uh, brainwashing mm. of us versus them so they even they teach children on bombs on weapons and everything so by the time of your 18 years old ready to go to, to the army you're already brainwashed Mm -hmm. With the very few who are not, they resist that brainwashing. They call them the, the refuseniks yeah. who refuse to join the army on, on humanity ground. And they're just uh, few and far in, far, far in between uh, people. But the vast majority just go into the army uh, with pleasure yeah. to, kill, to kill Arabs. That's what yeah. they say. Yeah. So, well, um, I have no sympathy to uh, those uh, 
rave party girls. Uh, they were squatting on our land. Mm. They're colonists. Mm. And they will, uh, like in a few hours, if they did not, you know, uh, been uh, liquidated, I use the Israeli word liquidated, they will carry arm and uh, fight uh, our people. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's a war. It's a war between us, the people, the rightful owners of Palestine, and uh, with the colonists, squatter mm -hmm. colonists, who came from everywhere from the world. So um, it's, it's too bad, but it, if anybody to bear responsibility for what happened to the civilians in and around Gaza, it's the Zionist uh, state and the Zionist uh, movement, uh, whether in, in Palestine or worldwide. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm especially concerned at this moment, you know, because yesterday the uh, communications facilities were bombed, destroyed. Yeah. There's no communication yeah. with Gaza anymore. Yes. Which well, is the yeah. perfect condition for them to uh, commit, you know, genocide. This is what yeah. they want. You know, this is the precondition. This yes. is an indication that they intend to go ahead with the genocide. You know, yes, uh, but it's not 1945 uh, anymore or 1982 anymore. Uh, there was a big campaign uh, uh, to ask Elon Musk to allow uh, his link, I don't know what's the name, Starlink uh, communication. And he responded right away to allow all the international and uh, human uh, and, and medical uh, organization in Gaza to use his Starlink, which was excellent, excellent work uh, of uh, of solidarity worldwide. Mm. And then, then, uh, so funny, the Egyptian, uh, you know, companies offered also to uh, the communication and net and the net internet to the Palestinians. So this morning, I mean, morning in Palestine, the Zionists restored the internet and the communication to uh -huh. that. So on this front, they've been defeated sorely, yet also the, with, with with a bad taste uh, yeah. in the for, from the world towards them, that how dare you? Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, one more thing. Uh, most of the people who've been uh, asked to leave uh, Gaza to the south, they return back home uh -huh. because uh, if we're going to be killed, in southern Gaza, we'll, we'll we might better be killed in our own homes. Yeah, you know it's it's very sad irony, but uh, they are losing this uh, front of trying to ethnically cleanse the Palestinians. That doesn't mean that there's there's a there's one and a half million Palestinians already displaced within the Gaza Strip. That's a, that's a human catastrophe. Mm -hmm. You're talking about men, women, people, sick, uh, elderly. Yeah. Uh, special needs, you with name no, it. With no help whatsoever. No, absolutely no help. They're living on very, very little. It's It just reminds me of the uh, uh, Leningrad uh, siege. Yes. Which we will, we will overcome. Yes. We will overcome. My people are are strong, are united, and they know they, the Nakba of 1948 is not going to happen again, no matter how much uh, bombs the Zionist drop on our people, but we will sta uh, stand uh, tall and together and we'll never leave our p uh, country again. Never again. This is never again. That's right. Yes, never again. Never again, Anakba. Yes. Very good. That's good to conclude on that note. And uh, we will see each other again next week. And bring Take care. People, uh, the news that uh, breaks through the censorship that everyone is facing. Thank you, Abraham.